I just was shocked. I couldn't, I couldn't believe he'd come in my house while I was asleep and was just roaming around. Scary thought, but demanding justice. A Kellyville woman says a man broke into her home while she was sleeping, stole her purse, and took off in her car. She tells our problem solvers it seemed like an open and shut case since the suspect was caught on camera using her credit cards. But months later, the victim was still waiting for police to turn over evidence. And as problem solver Corey Duke explains, that's when she called us for help. Because the homeowner was not supposed to be home until about 6 or 7 a.m. An eerie yeah, afternoon in November left Wendy Nichols sick to her stomach. You know, it just changes you. You don't trust people anymore. Nichols' house, targeted by a thief. And crawled through this window. Who broke in through her window. I could tell because the curtain was messed up and all the stuff right there was, you know, in disarray and the window was still pushed in. Nichols says the man then began searching her home looking for whatever he could find. He took my purse right off the kitchen table, which had my car keys in there and took some stuff out of the garage and then drove off in my car. The creepy part, Nichols was home, asleep the entire time. My house and I had my handy dandy fan on, box fan, so I did not hear much. When she woke up, she realized her purse and car gone. She called 911. The chief of police in Kellyville was on duty. He lives right out my front door. Shortly after, someone started charging items to Nichols' cards. She tracked purchases to AutoZone and Walmart in Tulsa. She saw surveillance, which captured not only her car, but the suspect and his apparent accomplice. She took a picture of the two and posted it to social media. And to Nichols' surprise, the woman in the photo sent her a message. She um, admitted to me that she didn't come in my house. She, she didn't steal the car, but she drove the car around for two days, is what she told me. Nichols brought the confession and surveillance video to police. And when her car was eventually recovered, she discovered the suspect's Bluetooth was still connected. She showed that to police as well. Robert Lee's LG MS 323, but it'll come up on the big screen. Months went by and From Nichols says police never the turned the evidence day. over to the district attorney. Nothing's been turned in. So That's when the two works for you problem solvers got involved. Our team's called to Kellyville police. All it took to get the evidence handed over. Corey Duke, two works for you. The district attorney says it will take a few weeks to file charges. If you have a problem and need our help, contact the Two Works For You Problem Solvers using the number here on your screen, or you can always email us at problemsolvers at kjrh.com.